drank all my wine, Pius. And Edna, that was your wine? I didn't know that. Yes, it's my wine. What did you think it was? Milk? Harvey Milk? I brought it with me to Mass tonight at St. Irving's of the Immaculate Pears Dispenser. You brought it to church? You brought it for your little penny waste congregation? This was my breakfast for tomorrow. Now what the hell am I supposed to do? I thought it was the communal wine. Eat this, you little mother! Oh, that's Fritzy's last name. I wonder what's on it. Fritzy. Where'd you find that? What in the putt? That is it is a videotape, Pinky. It is a videotape. Stop calling me Pinky. I am definitely the brain in this relationship. Uh-huh. Right, sure. Gabby, just put this back in the trash can where it belongs. What's on it that you so want to hide? Gabby, Gabby, <laughs> Gabby, it is mine, not I yours. What? 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 Exactly. Is the Putnam Brothers? It's just this stupid documentary. A sort of documentary that my cousin Mitch did when he went to film school. He did a video about me and my brothers. Mitch Cogsnuff. I'm a film student at SVA, and this is a documentary about my cousin. So, say hi. Hi. Do it with some more enthusiasm, okay? This is as enthusiastic as I get first thing in the morning without coffee. Fine. What's a cousin? Um, it's kind of like a sibling. Except you can actually have sex with them. Hey, you know, we should jump. No, I don't think so, man. I don't want to die. I'm a Catholic. I know I'm going to hell. So I sure as hell don't feel like rushing that experience any more than I already have to. Ah! Maybe a lower level. No! No way, man! No shabba! <laughs> you rotten kid! <laughs> I certainly hope not. I like to think that your gene pool is as small as possible. Why would you want my jeans to get wet? Because then they shrink and then I couldn't wear them and they'd be all icky. Anyway, it was oh. like a, a year or two. Actually, it was one summer. It just seemed like a year or two where Mitch followed us around with a video camera at all hours of the day. It was obnoxious, it was annoying, and I don't ever want to see that tape again. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it! Gabby, no. Poopy head. <laughs> so, why would your cousin want to make a documentary about you and your brothers anyway? I think that'd be kind of boring, if you ask me. Gabby. Yeah? No, he just thought it would be interesting because 
at the time I was still closeted and in denial. And then we had my brother Pius, who was training to be a priest at the time. Well, let us not forget it. It was a long-standing tradition in our family that people became priests, you know? Well, Mitch, remember, my brother Malcolm was going to become a priest until he knocked up his girlfriend, and, uh, well, abortion was out of the question, so that was that. Then, of course, Uncle Aloysius was a priest, and, um... Mitch, I don't want to talk about Uncle Aloysius. And then we had Prometheus, who is basically the hedon of the family, so he just thought it would be interesting to... Incorporate that all in one video? Well... Everybody's viewing pleasure. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. Belong until we're covered in snow. Snow. I want to wash my hair and face and wipe my ass in snow. Highest, what the hell are you doing? It's just a little something Gabby taught me how to do. Well, knock it off. You're kind of giving me the creeps, okay? What is Christmas with no snow? No white Christmas with no snow. <sighs> and please don't sing anymore. Anyway. Do you know a Father Ginger Snap? Father Ginger Snap? Oh, yeah, I know him. Hell of a nice guy. Well. He suspected in another one of those priest sex abuse cases. You know, I'm sick of all this sex abuse scandal crap. It's not Father Ginger Snap's fault. It's the fault of all those uh, faggots infiltrating the church. The gays have been infiltrating the Vatican for like 30 years now. Pious. Need I remind you that according to many government surveys, the vast majority of pedophiles are actually heterosexual. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But you forget there are also surveys that indicate most gays experienced some form of sexual abuse when they were children. <laughs> Whatever. Which is why there are no gay people in America today. They're just confused. Oh, right. I'm just confused. I didn't even That's pious in disguise. It's not a very good disguise, but it's pious in disguise. Go over and find out. Hi! Gobby, it's me. Pious? Yeah, how are you? Well, I was having fun messing with Merlin's head. <laughs> he thinks I'm the burning bush from Exodus. <laughs> when really, I'm the burning bush from Genesis instead. Ooh. Hmm. Why don't you 
you touch his leaves, dear. He likes it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, baby, that's the way I like it. Keep playing with my leaves. Keep playing with them. Use both hands. Okay. Stroke me, baby, stroke me. <laughs> that's not pious, dear. That's poison ivy. Poison ivy, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Do you need a hug? Yeah. Give me a hug. Yeah. You dumb bitch and poison yeah. ivy. <laughs> I finally told mom and dad what was happening around the time I turned 13, so it came to a stop then. I mean, Uncle Aloysius was no longer part of the picture. I should have sought treatment or therapy of some kind, I think, though. Because around that time, I started... I can't believe I'm telling you. I know I've told you this before, but I never told you with a camera shoved in my face. Around the time that Aloysius was raping me and molesting me or whatever you want to call it, I started masturbating. And nobody had ever told me anything about masturbating. All I knew was, physically, when I touched myself, it was very similar to the feeling I had when Uncle Aloysius touched me. So, I just thought it was a side effect from the sexual abuse. Um, there was some kind of, per I was really ashamed of it. and didn't talk about it or anything. So one day when I walked in on a friend of mine doing it. But for the longest time, I thought it was a really perverted thing to do. Okay, happy Kwanzaa. Oh, what is it? Well, this is called a tape. And the way it works is you put it in a machine and you play it. Really? And if you want to know what's on the tape, see this thing right here? Uh-huh. That's called a label. Yeah. And you see those things written on the label? Words? Yes. And when those words are put together, they form the title. And what does it say? T-H-E space P-U-T-N-A-M space. Come on, you can do it. The, the Putnam, Putnam Brothers. Brothers. Or as I like to call it. But there's no space. There's no word space in there. Gabby. It says space. It doesn't say space. It's the Putnam Brothers regardless. Or as I like to call it, a postmodern version of It's a Wonderful Life. Only instead of Jimmy Stewart, you have me. And instead of Clarence saving his life, you have my cousin Ned. 